The Properties of Matter Matter is everywhere and everything. Matter is anything that takes up space. Matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms. Matter is anything that takes up space, volume, and has a mass. The Physical Properties of Matter Physical properties can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the matter. These are properties you notice when using one of your five senses. Feel Sight Hear Smell And Taste Physical properties of matter are categorized as either Intensive Or extensive Extensive properties, are properties that depend on the amount of matter present Volume is a measure of the space occupied by the object. Standard units include milliliter, liter, cubic centimeter, cubic meter. For example, the volume of a basketball is greater than the volume of a golf ball. The mass of an object is a measure of the amount of matter the object contains. It is measured in grams, or kilograms. Using our previous example, the mass of a basketball is greater than the mass of a golf ball. Density Intensive properties, are properties that do not depend on the amount of matter present. Color, describes how the object absorbs, and reflects light. Texture describes how the substance looks, and feels. Texture, also describes the smoothness, or roughness of a substance. Odor describes how the substance smells. Luster, describes how shiny a substance is, or how it reflects light. It can be metallic, non-metallic, glassy, pearly, or dull. For example, a ring has higher luster than bread. Hardness, describes how easily a substance can be scratched or cut. The hardest natural substance on earth is diamond. A diamond can cut any other substance you can think of even metals. It is rated as done on most scale of hardness. 
It can scratch even titanium which is 6 on scale and tungsten carbide, a 9. Malleability, is the ability of a substance to be beaten into thin sheets. It describes the ability of a solid to be hammered without shattering. It is the ability of a substance to be hammered flat and to retain the new shape. It's the opposite of brittleness. Most metals are very malleable. Other objects such as glass or fine china are easily broken. Conductivity, is the ability of a substance to allow the flow of energy, such as heat, sound, and electricity. We call these substances conductors. But other substances are useful to us because they're not good conductors. We call low conductivity substances as insulators. Ductility is the ability of a substance to be stretched or pulled into a wire. We call this substances ductile. Magnetism describes the ability of a substance to attract or repel magnets. This is due to the motion of electrons that results to a magnetic field. Solubility describes how well a substance dissolves in another substance. If you take sugar, or juice powder, and stir it into water, it completely dissolves. Viscosity is the tendency of a liquid to keep from flowing. It is a liquid's resistance to flowing. The greater the viscosity, the slower the liquid moves. Honey and corn syrup are viscous liquids. Temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy, or energy of motion, of particles in a substance. Boiling point, is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid, is equal to the atmospheric pressure on a liquid. The boiling point of water is at 100 degrees Celsius. Melting point, is the temperature at which a substance changes from a solid to a liquid. The melting point of ice is at zero degrees Celsius. Freezing point, is the temperature at which a substance changes from a liquid to a solid. The freezing point of water is at zero degrees Celsius.
specific heat, the amount of energy it takes to raise the temperature of a substance. Shown here, are the specific heat of some substances. The chemical properties of matter. Chemical properties can be observed only upon changing the identity of the matter. These are characteristics involved, when a substance interacts with another substance, to change its chemical makeup. Combustibility or flammability, is the tendency of a material to burn in air. Flammable materials, can catch fire easily at ambient temperatures. Whereas combustible materials, need much higher temperature to burn. This illustration shows that flammable materials has lower flash point. Thus, they burn easily in air. Reactivity, is the tendency to undergo chemical reaction with another substance. A material can be reactive to oxygen, reactive to water, or reactive to acids or bases. Reactivity to oxygen. Rusting, of iron. Tarnishing, of silver, copper, or brass. Reactivity to water. Metals such as sodium, and magnesium, reacts violently with water. Reactivity to acids or bases. Baking soda reacts with vinegar, and produces carbon dioxide gas bubbles. This magnesium metal reacts with acid, and results to production of gas. This copper coin reacting with acid produces gas, and change in color. Let's have a quick review. Physical properties, can be observed without changing the identity of the substance. While chemical properties, can be observed only when the identity changes. So in short, how do we know if it is chemical, or physical? If the identity changes, it's chemical.